Welcome to the oil draining training module prepared by California Controlled Atmosphere and Resource Compliance. In this training module, you will learn, through demonstration, how to safely drain oil from a vessel drop leg. To begin, ensure to follow all facility safety rules and wear proper personal protective equipment, or PPE. Commonly required PPE at ammonia refrigeration facilities may include the following. Safety vest, hard hat, hearing protection, safety glasses, personal ammonia monitor. Additional PPE will be necessary when performing oil draining activities. The additional PPE includes chemical resistant apron, chemical resistant gloves, full face air purifying respirator or face shield with an APR. Always remember that the oil draining process must be performed using the buddy system. Having an extra set of hands during oil draining is helpful for performing the task and essential if an emergency situation occurs. Finally, ensure you are following the facility's line break procedures. Now we are going to demonstrate the oil draining procedure for draining oil from a vessel drop leg. Step 1. Assemble the required equipment. If the room where oil is being drained is equipped with an exhaust ventilation system, turn the fan on. A plastic drum, pressurated hose with spring return valve on one end and heavy weight on the other, and any necessary wrenches must be available. Draining oil is a line break activity that must only be performed under the direct supervision of a qualified refrigeration technician. Ensure to follow the facility's line break procedure. Step 2. Check the oil drain valve to make sure that it is closed tightly. Step 3. Slowly remove the oil drain valve plug, being careful to note that if there is any ammonia pressure behind it. The plug should feel loose. If it is tight or feels like it is cross-threaded, it may have ammonia pressure behind it. Step 4. If not permanently installed, connect a spring return valve and drain hose to the oil pot oil drain valve. Use Teflon pipe thread tape to ensure a good seal. Step 5. Place the weighted drain hose or rigid pipe end in a plastic drum approximately 25% full of water. Position the drum a distance away from the oil drain valve. Step 6. Crack the system oil drain valve and open the spring return valve until oil starts to flow. Step 7. Continuously monitor the flow of oil. Open the system oil drain valve more if necessary. Step 8. Watch for the appearance of ammonia. It can be heard spitting or popping and observed by the line getting cold or icing up. Step 9. When ammonia gas or liquid is present, shut the spring return valve. The presence of ammonia does not necessarily mean that all of the oil is drained out. Step 6 to 8 may need to be repeated several times. Step 10. Wait. Let the residual ammonia in the line be absorbed into the container of water. Step 11. Close the oil drain valve.
Step 12. Disconnect the hose or rigid pipe from the oil drain valve. Drain any hose contents into the plastic drum. Step 13. Reinstall the pipe plug in the oil drain valve. Use Teflon pipe thread tape to ensure a good seal. At this point, the procedure for draining oil from a vessel drop leg is complete. This concludes the oil draining training module prepared by California Controlled Atmosphere and Resource Compliance. Thank you for your participation.